Hi, this is Deshay Witcher of Access Advertising, and today I'm going to show you how to install your Google Analytics into your WordPress website. Now, you can install Google Analytics into any platform, but since WordPress is um, the most popular and uh, the easiest to use, that's what we're going to start with today. Um, if you haven't already, the first thing you need to do is sign up for a Google Analytics account. Um, you're going to do that by going to google.com slash analytics. Um, and either you're going to sign in or basically it's going to ask you to create a new account. Um, since we are, have already created an account, um, this is what it's going to look, at, look like when you sign in. Now, I have a ton of accounts under my Google Analytics accounts for different clients. Um, but one particular client we have not installed Google Analytics for, we're going to set up today. So what we're first going to do is you have to set up the portion in Google Analytics. You do that by clicking on Admin at the very top. And it's probably going to show you whatever account um, you're on if you already have accounts set up. If you don't have accounts set up, um, just um, it's going to ask you just to create a new account. But let's go ahead and create a new account. And the name of the website is Hunting Hills Homeowners Association. So we're just going to put Hunting Hills since Hunting Hills does have a, a golf course, a golf club, um, you know, a couple of other things that could be used under Hunting Hills. Um, and you just want to keep that. Um, organize. So we're going to do Hunting Hills as the overall name and then we're, for the website name we're going to do Hunting Hills Homeowners Association. And then we're just going to grab the website URL which is over here. And just paste it in and you don't need the HTTP as they already um, do that part for you. Um, industry type, um, just just give it whatever type that your website is based on. We're just going to do people in society um, and then change to your time zone. Ours is Eastern Standard Time, so we're just going to set that up as well. Um, as far as the data sharing, this is um, up to you. Um, I like to keep things as private as possible. Um, so I like to just uncheck these. That's completely up to you again. Um, and then to get tracking ID. Now, either you can read the term service or, you know, breeze through it or just click accept. Um, if you've never done anything with Google, you might want to read the terms of service. If you have done things with Google, such as Gmail and things like that, the terms of service is pretty similar. Um, and you can just hit accept. It's going to say success, and then it's going to take you over to your script. Now, this script is what you want to copy and paste into your website. There's two main ways of getting this script into your website that work well for me. Now, there's plugins out there, um, so some SEO plugins such as Yoast and, um, you know, other plugins that you can use to insert your Google Analytics ID. Um, if you have one already installed, great. You probably only need this little code right here, um, the UA-89-6016 um, code. If not, then just, um, just follow what I do. So first things first, I'm going to copy the code by right-clicking, copy and make sure it's all blue. Um, I'm going over to my WordPress um, dashboard. And the first thing you're going to see is a dashboard like this. So what you want to do is go down to appearance and then go to editor. And I like to put my Google Analytics ID into the footer since um, normally your footer is going to be exactly the same on every single page. So for example, ours um, is this entire green section. So this entire green section is on every single page of the website. So putting the Google Analytics ID into the footer makes sure that the ID is on every single page of your website to track efficiently.
So what we're going to go back over, we're going back over to, um, to the theme, appearance, editor, and then we're going to click on footer. Now don't be nervous, um, it, it's really simple. We're not going to be deleting any code, we're actually just going to be adding that piece of code. So you're going to scroll all the way down, and just make sure again you're on the footer, scroll all the way down, and you're going to see this body. Um, you want to insert the code before the body. Now, I have some extra space in between the um, piece of coding where it's going to go. If you don't, it may look like this. So all you want to do is just hit enter a couple times to give you some space. And as you can see, everything's still there. Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to right-click and hit Paste or Control-V. So we're just to right-click, Paste. And there you go. So the script is now in there on the footer. And we're just going to scroll down and hit update file. Now again, we didn't erase any code. We just added the script. And we know it's the full script because it begins with script and it ends with a dash script. That basically says it's the beginning of the script and it's the end of the script. Hit update file. That's file edited successfully. Now the other way you can do it is you can do it through a widget. Um, and a widget is could be like a sidebar, um, but it also could be a footer widget as well. So right now, as you can see, we have um, footer left, footer middle, and footer, uh, footer right widgets. And all that is is here's the left, here's the middle, here's the right. Now with the widgets, you don't have to put it in any particular position, it can just be anywhere on the footer. So if you were, were to do it with the widgets, um, just click the down arrow, it's going to show everything that's there. So you want to grab this text file right here, text widget, and you just drag, and it doesn't matter if it's below or above, it doesn't matter, drop it in, and then you're going to paste the script inside the content. And you don't need a title because the title is going to show up on your website and you don't want to do that. So all you have to do is just, again, just go right click, paste, and there you go. And then just hit save. Now, I'm not going to do that because we've already installed the script once in the footer and saved it. Um, we don't need to do that. But again, if you want to do it through a widget, that's fine. Also, if you have trouble installing your script, you can contact Access Advertising, um, which is going to be a link in the description below, or you can just contact your web developer. I'm sure that they can handle it for you. Um, I'm just going to hit delete since we're not going to save it. And there you go. So once you're done, um, it may take maybe an hour or two to, um, you know, to start getting some data. But once you're done, just go back over to reporting. And again, it's, it, you might want to change it to today's date. I would say give it an hour or two um, before you start seeing some, some traffic. As you can see, there's no traffic yet, but um, there's a little delay as far as the traffic is concerned. Um, but that is it. If you want to uh, keep up with your age and gender of your of your visitors. Um, there's a place here under audience and then demographics and then overview. You have to cut this on. Um, so what you need to do is you need to enable it. And there you go. So any visitor that comes to your website now, um, Google uses the data that it already has to give an age and a gender to that traffic. And this is great for if you're seeing that a specific type of um, age or gender is converting on your website or contacting you or visiting a, a certain page. This is great information to have. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, um, again, you can reach out to us at visitaccess.com. Uh, which is going to be in the description, and uh, or you can just comment on this video. Thank you, and have a great day.